Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two about cleaning up this fish clip art. If you didn't watch the first one, you can you can watch the first one. But I filled it in. I took the Smart Fill tool, tool and I filled him in. Well, you want to look around and see if you see any problems. And I don't know how well you can see it on the screen, but I've got a problem right there, and I've got a problem right there. I've got nodes that are in loops. When it clip art it, it's so there's two problems here. So you could do two things. You can move your clip your color fill away and correct those two. See there's two loops right there. So all you do is take your shape tool and just kind of start deleting nodes till you get rid of them and then they're gone. Now with a plasma cutter, you're gonna you don't really want this inside sharp angle. So you turn that into a curve and then maybe make it a little bit more of a loop. Like you don't want this outer edge. So what you can do while you're here, select it all, left click and turn them into curve. Now every node is a curve. And then I'd go through here and and you've got to keep in mind that this is your drawing. You know, you're you're actually changing up the artwork. But that doesn't look any you could have a few sharp ones, but we need to get rid of this loop right here. And all I'm gonna have to do is just delete a node and it got rid of that loop. That's real important because the, the plasma cutter is gonna cut a hole. And even your laser. So what you can do also to get rid of some of these nodes, especially for a plasma cutter, is to lasso them all and go right up here. And I always use the number 20, and it seems to work. It got rid of some of the nodes. I think it did. I hit the wrong key. And then grab your outside. And it doesn't really have very, it's got very few nodes. But it's got a problem kind of like right here. There's two nodes that are real close together. And especially in plasma cutting, you don't need that. It didn't change, but just a minute. But you'd want to go through there. And so that's why I always use the Smart Fill tool. If you do that, what has happened, if you have a, a little bit of a break, now you can go up here and go left click, right click, and make sure this is, goes to a hairline. Because on my computer right now, it is uh, color filling, and there's a way around that. I just didn't take the time. But this would be a good clip art. I'd clean up his, his uh, upper shell or upper fin a little bit. Uh, you know, still make it look like a fish, but you could uh, round off some of these corners. You don't, they all don't have to be that way. But when you round them off, the plasma cutter is going to cut better. And just one insight, somebody asked me to clean up this fish and I imported it. And I was working on a screen that was huge. This is the size of my laser bed. So I'm, I've got all that in there. And this is just a word of warning, especially if you're using a older computer. When I went up to import the file was called Largemouth Bass. When I went up to import it, it was so little that I did this. I made it big. This is huge. It's 119 inches. You don't want to bitmap that on an older computer, especially like mine. It's going to mine it, it will lock it up. So it doesn't help you any. To do that, just zoom in and then start your bitmap process. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.